10 users in the first seven users. Mem, the company behind Twitter, in threads, has just declared war on threads with their new app, Twitter. And this is the most f***ing terrifying thing happening in social media right now. So first of all, do I even think threads has got a thread? Well, let's put it this way. Right now, my sixth follower account on Threads is getting more engagement than my one follower account on Twitter. I mean, look at this. This is not a 60K follower account. But yeah, the excitement levels for this new app, they're not just unlike anything I've ever seen before. They are high, but why? Because Facebook, all I've seen on Twitter these past few months is, huh, why is Elon Musk a musky? And to me, it has felt like a homely platform. Like, I just feel like I belong there. And so Threads is basically Threads designed to be the opposite of Threads. And to capitalize on this downward spiral sentiment that lots of people have towards Threads, Meta made sure that they've launched with ads, that they're not even thinking about monetization until the app reaches a user. <laughs> This is what Google is saying, which is kind of crazy because if it does get to a user, that's already two times what Twitter is. They've made sure that everyone needs to have a Threads account before they can register, which has done a lot to reduce the level of activity. And I mean, I mean, they're spoiling us. I mean, you can see as many posts as you want per day. Because it's not linked to your Instagram account, you'd pay for verification. And the best part of it is that you'd pay for followers. You know how Threads has managed to get this buzz about it? It's because it's Facebook. It's because it's managed to do the one thing that's really, 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 really hard for a new platform to do. And that's to make it feel like everyone is posed there. All of this is making Threads feel like this like haven, like a fresh start. The Twitter, but where everything is like, and I can't believe I'm saying this, but a world in which Mark Zuckerberg is the host. It's just really good timing, combined with some really good timing, combined with some really good timing, combined with some very big PP marketing.